Hey bro, how are you? Total record for you, Asterix at the Olympic game. Please like, subscribe, comment. New game. Play without solo double player. Really nice game. Loading. There's love stories. Mr. Loverboy, back from Greece. From Greece? What was he doing over there? He went off chasing a princess called Irina, with whom he was head over heels in love. But there, he found out she was marrying that rotter Brutus, the son of Caesar. Love Story said he'd do anything he could to stop the marriage and blurted out he'd win the Olympic Games to prove his worth. Princess Irina liked the idea, and to give him a chance, she declared, I shall marry the man who wins the Games. But there was Edge. Love Storics just learned that only Romans can compete in the Olympic Games. All his hopes were crushed. Poor oh, Love Storics. Oh, boy meets girl stuff. It always gets messy, you know. Couldn't agree more. Hey, enough of broken hearts. How about we go to the forest and pick us a few wild boars? It would be good to pick us five of them for breakfast. Five? That's right. Two for you and two for me and one for Dogmatics. Oh, my legs. Dogmatics can't eat a whole boar all by himself. He's too little. Well, all right, then. I'll help him finish it. Okay. To get over that tree trunk, try running, followed by a double, double jump. Okay. Look over there! A ball! You know, you can take control of him. <laughs> One down, four more, and we can have lunch. Are you sure we need that many? We only need about half. Uh, uh, uh. A walk in the forest always works up an appetite. We need five boars at least. Okay, okay. Whatever your appetite says. I know a great place for boars, you'll see. In fact, boars are just like mushrooms, except you need a bigger basket. Still need three more. Oh, very much better. Look up and on the left. Our shield is ready. A shield? Where? All I can see is true. The shields indicate our life point. You what? Two more and we can have lunch. One more and it's lunchtime. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you. Last night I had a horrible nightmare. Nightmare? Yes, I dreamed I was all hacking up and it's strange. I was me, but at the same time I wasn't me. And in the dream I didn't want to be strong anymore. And I refused to bash Romans. That was a terrible nightmare. Right then. And fight! <laughs> oh, there we are. I knew it. What's up? Shush. You see, every time it's the same. I'm hungry. It must be the forest there. Ha <laughs> ha Back to the village! One! 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 Hop! 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 Scram! Out of the way, peasants! Hop! 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 Back to the way! Back to the wall by far! Excuse me, Roman. You really shouldn't go dropping rubbish in the forest. It sure is weird, your Roman obelisk. Like that trail there behind it. It'll scare off the boars, things like that. Oh no! The boars! We forgot the boars! They, they got up and pulled them. Easy as pie. Javelin. No doubt I'm best at that. the village, time to see get a fix. That Roman, the strange going on, has a funny feeling. Our druid might have something to say about this. What do you think it is, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix, but it looks dangerous. 
In your dream, you were like that Roman, you said? It was a nightmare, not a dream. I, I was exactly like that, and I didn't want to bash Romans anymore. Imagine that. like you've lost a pound or two. You're as flat as, as a papyrus. <laughs> yes, my friends, I'm here to bring you very bad news, but it seems the nightmare has already started. Get a fix as a victim of an evil that threatens us all. Shanshifa, please do calm down and tell us everything you know. You're right. I was on a secret mission in Greece in Olympia where the sacred games are imminent, and there I discovered that an evil wizard named Dr. Mabus is plotting to distort reality to fulfill its fiendish goals. He wants to distort reality. That's right, get a fix. I made on-the-spot inquiries. This Dr. Mabus has in his possession the strangest of keys, and with this key he opens up portals to access uh, parallel worlds. Worlds that look like ours, but are different. Portals? Parallel worlds? Hmm. And is that dangerous, that? It's very dangerous, Asterix. You see, there exists an infinity of worlds beyond our own, and it's never too smart to open the portals connecting together other dimensions. It's generally a recipe for catastrophe and mayhem. You look like the living proof on papyrus get a fix. Like that Roman we bumped into in the forest. I don't know what that Dr. Mabus is up to, but if he carries on prodding and poking with his dimensional key, the future isn't rosy. You're right, Sam. It's high time to pay a little visit to Mr. Dr. Mabus. Oh, I have an idea. We can just say we're competing in the games. What's more, you cheer up love stories. Oh, their legs. We already told you that the games are reserved for Greeks and for Romans. You know, Obelix's idea isn't so dumb. Because, no offense meant, technically, since Caesar invaded Gaul, you are Romans. What? Me, Roman? Or the other one? It is better, Obelix, to be Gaulish in name than Roman on papyrus. Hello, Inc. I knew that you wouldn't let me down. You'll see, we'll win these games hands down. Here we come, Olympia! Asterix, tell me, did you find that Getafix was strange this morning? Strange? Uh, no. In what way strange? I don't know, I found him a little bit flat. Do you think I'm depressing him? <laughs> no, no, don't worry, love stories. I'll read his fine. How strange that it is. No one seems to have noticed for real that you're not actually yourself. It's a good thing, Asterix. Ignorance in this case is bliss. Children, here is Olympia, the joy of Greek civilization. It's time I made myself scarce. I travel fastest when I'm solo. We'll meet up again later inside the village. Oh, strangers! Visitors are not allowed to this area. We are Gallo Roman athletes, we are. Maybe you need more proof. Uh, in that case, you'll need to obtain accreditation that grants entry to both the Olympic Village and to each of these sporting events. And how do we obtain this accreditation? You'll need to acquire a Gaul Colors Certificate of Gaulishness, and you'll need to pass an aptitude test. Oh, Where shall we start? With the paperwork or the aptitude tests? Whoa, you know me. Well then, let's get the certificates out of the way.
What is it? Um, we've come to get a Gorkama certificate. Oh, not today, you haven't. Sorry. The pigeons we use to communicate between sectors have been caged up. Brutus's orders. The network's down, you see. Hey, that's a bit much, isn't it? We've come a long way to take part in these games, and we want our certificate. Open that bird cage! And watch them fly away. You'd have been so free. Listen, it's more than my job's worth to touch the cages, you understand. But now, if someone were to accidentally open them, uh, by mistake, you know, well, that would be different to get my drift. Perfectly, then come on, Ovidix. Free me ten pigeons, and I'll take care of your gall colour certificates. <laughs> hey, I think Dogmatics is on to something. You are the Gaulish delegation. Right. We're going to see if you're able to compete in the Olympic Games. A series of little tests awaits you. In you come, an inspector will explain everything inside. What are the tests for, then? We need to have the right profile. But I've got one, and a left profile. That may be they can't see it. Hey, that's funny. It looks smaller from the outside. Get ready, Gauls. In every room, there's a test. I monitor you from above. I'll tell you exactly what you have to do. The principle is easy. Complete all the tests, and you'll be considered apt. Good luck. You may leave the aptitude test, but if you quit a test in the middle, you'll have to start everything all over again. Okay, guys, this video is very long. Like, subscribe, comment. Good luck, bro. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.